Hey Gas Mask Collectors, this is the Warpath Gorka, back in with another review. Today I'm going to be doing the Yugoslavian M1. Let's begin. We will be talking about the history, the the whole mask accessories, and of course the three other variants of the mask. And yes, let's start off with the history of it. Now, the history of the mask, this mask was introduced in the late 60s, and of course ended, well technically been replaced by the M2, during the 1990, during a 19, late 1995, during in the entirety of the Yugoslav War, which I have the full year to. Now, the mask itself actually is pretty much for, well, for the military and civilians. But I have the civilian version too, another civilian, well, version of the thing, and we're going to get to that later. And this mask itself is a direct copy of the M9 pretty much all green and typically yeah with the weird interesting texture the only difference of this mask itself is just green but hey it's actually quite not bad for it at a copy like this and we'll be getting into these later the mask has been manufactured by Mioli Zakic now, let's get to the quality of the masks. Yes, I bought three of them, and I will show you all three variations, well, the quality of them. They are very much prone to falling to pieces, and I'll show you probably the good one first. Let's start off with my best one, the best I could get. Now, it would have this guy right in there. Now, you will see many notes about this, or clear hints about these things they have these pieces and the mask is quite a bit have low quality on the thing and I will say yes this is not a good mask well technically not in a completed way but at least it is like what it's supposed to be now let's get to the now let's get to the middle part let's get to our middle guy or the second one now at least it's not terrible this one has it's missing the little piece for to connect to this guy. Yeah, that's again the same problem that. But if you're actually wondering, I thought this would be the worst quality for a mask, but I found it even worse. Let's get to the next guy. And then we get to the bad side. Now, take a good hard look guess. Um, this looks uh, this looks fine. As a matter of fact, people in the comment section saying, Hey, Warpath, the mask is totally fine. Well, it looks fine on the front side, but looking at the back side? Nah, it's not good. As a matter of fact, this is uh, Weapons uh, weapons and Stuff 93 pointing out about about this particular mask. The like, Unlike the uh, filter port, these things have horrible tendencies to melt. Yes, and this was in fact during this was during in the Gulf War. These masks have been common in the Gulf War, pretty much. Well, pretty much for Iraqi troops. That's the reason. And these things always tend to set in the sunset, and this this stuff melts. I actually spotted a couple of these at at Austin, Texas, when I was beginning collecting gas masks. When I was picking up like the MCU slash 2P and the M17A1, I've actually came across two of these masks and they've melted like literally onto the filter too. If you believe it or not, here's the filter and the filter literally was stuck like that and you can't even get the thing off. So I decided just to dodge that. Well, thank God I dodged the bullet for it, but I actually bought this because of the carrier. Yeah, that, and I was thinking this may replace the, the second one, the second mask I bought. But unfortunately, it gave, a, gave me a great example to show you that this thing, this thing melts. Yeah, literally. And some of the styrofoam on it is not good. Now, let's get to the mask and the accessories itself. Oh, and also, and I also pointed, also... The same YouTuber pointed out that the filter can be a little crooked and does not fit properly. So that's another 
minus con to the mask. Like, prone to fall into pieces, melting, well, crooked filters, and melting. Yes. Now, let's get to the accessories. When I was actually taking this off, look at that huge chunk of it. And that chunk. Yeah, literally, this thing melts, and also it got onto my hand. Also, I, for I forgot to point out another thing. This, uh, there's a hole in there, and some cardboard. Inside of it, it's still melted on there. I just want to point out here, I think I've pretty much unleashed a curse, or brought a M Yugoslavian M1 curse onto me. Yeah, this is a really bad luck. Oh boy. I hope I won't die from the curse of the M1. Ooh. It's almost late Halloween. When... Yes, it's almost Halloween. I think probably during this re during this upload it's not going to be Halloween, but you can all know that it's, it's probably possibly a curse. Now, for the accessories, I will be mentioning about these pieces that I don't own, which, which is kind of reasonable, is, well, the chemical detector kit, or the NBC kit, that will actually be in there, which is the color green in there, and also a poncho hood, yes, a chemical poncho hood, or something like that, but yes, that is, in fact, a real piece for it. And also comes with the instructions to it. Now let's get to the ones that I own. Understandably, these things are a little harder to get, or a little bit for the full kit is going to be harder to come by in the U.S., but pretty common in well, typically in the Balkan states, including Serbia. Let's get to the ones that I own. Now, we get to the bag. Now, the bag itself is completely just a copy of the M9A1. The A1, exactly. Now, you'll get the markings right here and there. Now, I'm going to be mentioning this inside the bag where it came with, where it did came with the bag inside of it. Let's go open this thing. Now, you got three pockets in there. One for the filter, one for, I'm not sure what it is for, but I guess for the chemical kit, that's for the, that thing right here, this elastic piece for the poncho, and this is where I found the paper to it, and this little cap right here. Let's get to that. Inside of the thing is two things. Now, we're going to get to the paper later, but this one right here is just a... A cap for the M2. Now, surprisingly, fun fact about this thing, there is in fact you can put the the M2 mask has been used for the same carrier for it. And if you don't have this guy, chances are there's gonna be an M2 in there. Now let's get to the paper. Also inside the inside the carrier, it actually comes with this inspection sheet which it's really kind of, well, it might be important for the mask too. Now, if you're actually quite wondering, um, this is for the M2. Now, it actually brings up a fun fact about this. Now, fun fact about this, the carrier that was using the M1 was shared by the same of the M2. Yes, the same, the M2 actually has to share the M1, not with the mask each other, but they actually use the same carrier. Now let's get to what the carrier was, is part of. Yeah, this is all of it, and yes, this is part of the whole web gear. Now, I can actually do the full review of it and get all the components later on the separate videos. Now let's get to the mask itself. This mask is pretty much straight up the M9A1 copy. Now, the only difference of this M9 copy that's all green, I can actually show you all the equipment that the Yugoslavian or Serbian gear that they have without the pouches and stuff, because 
Unlike helmets, they're common, but I never seen anything like that. Well, M40 got that, so there are some masks that do have the different coloring than like the Australian one. I'm going to show you all the comparison to all the equipment that they have. Helmets are very common, but let's get to all the equipment. The color actually looks very similar to, yes, all the colors. Actually has the mess kit, it's the full thing. Yeah. Even the, the steel looks the same, looks the same. Let's get to the next one. The monocular scope, the OM M59. It looks, really looks familiar. Now let's get to the next one. And another piece, the shovel, it looks, looks very familiar, but a little darker. Even the M2, and yes, children's gas mask, as the has to use the same color. Now let's get to inside of the mask. Inside the mask, there is an oral nasal cup for the M1, and of course the texture to it. Now I'll be showing you the civilian model to this right now now we have the mc1 yes this carrier here let's talk about the carrier itself the whole bag is made of canvas even of course the straps now too bad for a, a 200 dollars game having nylon instead of canvas but with the adjusters on located on located on the left with these snaps onto it. Now, let's get to the, the whole text itself. Yeah, the text itself. On the bag it says, Lucini Complat Za Zasutu Gradana Samaskom, which is, translates to personal kit for protection citizens with a mask, MC1. Inside the carrier bag, or the carrier, the big pe the whole big, it is in fact have three dividers. One for the mask itself, and this side for the all the accessories with a string. Maybe it's for the filter. Oh, there's another string. So, yeah, that's that's the whole thing. That's mm, not bad quality. I mean, it's it could have been worse. Besides from filter and mask, which I'll get to later, there's actually a couple of accessories. These are pretty much two cloth wipes, one for pretty larger and smaller. And the next one is, is again, this guy here. This is a piece of paper. Oh, it's upside down. Yeah, this is a piece of paper for, you can actually pause this and read this thing, but I will be now getting onto the mask. And also this piece of paper. Now I will be reading this now let's begin. Guarantee list, which is means warranty list. Zastini Maska MC1 Zasivino Stan Stanov Zishinov. I hope I got that right because it, it translates to protective mask MC1 for civilian population. Zastina Maska MC1 Pro Proyezvedena je po tadnikam yuslovama. It translates to the protective mask MC1 is manufactured according to technical requirements. Yeah, that's that's kind of a little weird. 51 over over rene od instituta za tadniko. Medicine 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 za Zastadu Plates 251 certified by the Institute for Technical Medical Protection Biograd, which it translates to apparently White City Porozvedino, which is produced Control knee organ, which it translates to organ bo control body Sorry, that must be the must be the company name. I'm gonna go check. And we have the logo here and the date. This one's 1981. 
So I think this is kind of a mixed bag of Bosnian and this one Bulgarian and Croatian. Not a lot of Serbian on here. And that's it. It's technically, it's a warranty list. Or, yeah, just a warranty. Now let's get to, well, the meat and potatoes of the thing. The mask itself. Here's the meat and potatoes of this. The MC1. Now, check out what's the difference of this MC1. It looks the same, aside from the, the stamp there. Well, let me look at the inside of the mask. Yes, this is the biggest dead giveaway on this. I heard many people told me that the MC1, the civilian version, is the one lacking of an oral nasal cup. Now, inside the mask, it has the piece of the exhale valve and the T-saw tubes. Now, let's talk about the size of these masks. Now, let's get to the size. Now, if you notice the M, which just means Molly, which is small, yeah, this is a little small. Now let's get to the the more common ones to find. Yeah, the three ones I have is Serendini, which is means medium. Yeah, including the Melty Boy. Now the one I don't have is the Veliki, which is large. Now let's talk about... Um, well, I guess the harness itself. Both of these masks are made, the adjusters are made of nylon with some, I think, canvas or cotton. And of course, with the neck strap to actually hold the mask with your neck. Now, let's try on the masks. So this is what the carrier would look like when you're wearing it on the MC. Now let's try it out. what the carrier looks like. Now let's go put on the mask. This is what it sounds like with the M1. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons. Pros and cons of the mask. Now, the mask is a lot better than the cheek filtered mask. I could say that there, and some of the... You can actually replace this very easy if it's very damaged. But, let's talk about the cons of these guys, and they're pretty a lot... There's a lot of these things. Now, the minor ones is going to be... The lacking of a drinking tube and, of course, no filter on the right hand or the right side for the right left-handed shooters. Now, I would pass this as just a copy clone of the M9 because, I mean, there is a good one, which uh, apparently from Finland. Yep, that guy. Now let's talk about the major one. The major con, this thing can fall to pieces are prone to it. The filters could go very crooked and, of course, I mentioned it melts. Surprisingly, the one that is very much great in condition, unlike this one, which was the much more better one, this is the MC1. This thing, again, this could fall to pieces, and sometimes it may actually not fall to pieces. It's just a mystery towards that. These masks have been very much used in the Iraqi, Iraqi troops, and they will have like a weird, you know, Iraqi language in it. And that's the difference of it. Now, I know this is going to be a more controversial thing, I would say. I kind of like the mask. Yeah, it's not perfect. You know, nobody's perfect. But it is, in fact, not like the M2, which I personally liked. But in the sake of this video, let's do the final verdict.
My final verdict of the Yugoslavian M1 will get a 4 out of 10. The MC1, on the other hand, will get the same 4 out of 10. But it's an alright mask. In conclusion, the M1, the Yugoslavian M1, are really not the best masks ever. You know, to be fair, it is better than nothing. I could say that there. Well, that wraps up the M1, Yugoslavian M1, and MC1 review. I'm the Warpath Gorka, and I'm signing out.